Okay guys, it's time to put little deeper thoughts of what is going on with AMC stock. What you see on the screen, it's the highest institutional buying of AMC. Institutions didn't buy like crazy when AMC was at 50s, 60s, 70s. Institutions bought like crazy in December, November, October. And if you go over the historic price action for AMC, you will see that AMC was trading in October around 35 bucks was trading around 40 dollars in november and it was trading around 29 dollars in december and all these three months were the most favorable for institutions to load the boat now we have to put some thoughts into this A lot of people got angry and frustrated when they see that institutions are buying more AMC shares, even though synthetic ones, if we assume that these shares are synthetic. But that's not always the bad news, guys, because think about it. Who will buy AMC shares in bulk through the dark pool if there is no demand on the other side? If there are not other short sellers willing to borrow the shares, right? It's kind of a good news from each point of, of view if they're buying the shares to keep the shares it's a good news because they're expecting a big run up if these shares are bought from these institutions just to be lent this means that there is a business there is a demand when short sellers are looking for shares this means that they also expect a particular price action on the way up so they need these shares to suppress the upward trajectory right they're not getting these shares uh, just to prepare themselves for nothing and let me assemble the last piece from the puzzle for you look at this i already made a separate video about uh, vanguard increasing 500 percent their ownership in amc in 2022 a couple of days ago reporting on this but i didn't mention anything about blackrock which occasionally randomly or who knows why increased with 623 percent ownership in amc entertainment just a couple of days prior uh, vanguard is it coincidence is it something planned ahead and like i said just assemble all the pieces all the institutions bought amc like crazy the last three months of 2021 and in the first uh, months of 2022 we're seeing crazy numbers of increased ownership of the biggest holdings of amc like I said, many people don't take into account that these shares could be bought to be lent out. But this is a good news because there is a demand for it. This means that the short sellers have to have these shares. They have to be prepared. They know what is coming. If nobody actually is looking for the shares, if the shorts know that the stock is dead at these price levels, they're not going to prepare themselves with additional ammunition, aka shares, right? who in the right mind will load the boat with 500 and 600 percent and we're talking about the real uh, meaning of the, the smart money right these two companies are real representation of the smart money on the stock market we're not talking about secondary hedge fund secondary uh, wealth managers right we're talking about <laughs> vanguard and blackrock so these guys know what they're doing so if they increase their positions with 500 and 600 percent even though for the sake of lending the shares to the short sellers, this is still a good news because just proves the point that there is a big price action coming and the short sellers are in demand for the shares. Again, guys, this is not a financial advice, just my take. Like I said, uh, a lot of people just look at the surface and they don't dive deep of the meaning of these actions because there is no one, one direction uh, price action. There is no one direction uh buy or sell sometimes these institutions will be selling and will be dumping tons of shares of particular company simply because they want to buy the company much cheaper right if they have a high cost basis for example they bought some of this uh, high growth company right but the company actually spent 20 or 50 billion dollars developing a product in the metaverse and they feel like uh, the dumbest person on the stock market buying over here and then the company uh, have basically no product or service, but this money are already spent. They're willing to dump the shares, pushing the stock price at the much lower level of support and buying it over here. So like I said, there is always 
a couple of different reasons why uh, institutional investors will be buying, selling or lending or borrowing certain shares. This is why when you go on institutional ownership for AMC stock, you will see that uh, majority of the institutional investors have long and short positions. Uh, there is very limited number of them who only have short position. And here are some numbers on the screen to be exact. We have only 27 uh, institutional investors who have only short positions with the stock versus uh, 540 which are long right this represents a big sentiment this is why guys i believe that every time when you see institutional investors loading the boat for any purposes for any reason on the stock market it's a good news i will feel much worried and much bad if all these institutions are dumping let me know how would you feel if you find out that vanguard dumped 500 percent uh, BlackRock dumped 600% of their ownership, their closing position, something that Wanda did last year. How, how are you going to feel? If you feel bad when you're seeing they're loaning the boat, let me know how, how would you feel when these uh, institutions show zero or like close position with AMC. Much worse, right? Again, guys, this is my take. I could be wrong. But like I said, this is my opinion. This is how I see the situation. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this video and come back for more.